my mouth must have to split up. I can see it. <laughs> These LED knocks here. LED light. What up, knocks? They're uh, new. Pretty good. They're the cheapest ones I could find. <laughs> yeah, they're great. They're the cheapest ones I could find. No, with a switch. There's an even cheaper uh, tier beneath these that don't have the button. There's a uh, kind of spin on. You don't want those. They're crap. They're junk. And I'm sitting here trying to. So, we're gonna have a little fun tonight. Uh, the idea just came to me. I'm calling it Blind Archery. Uh, and I want to dedicate this video to Sean Henderson at uh, Blind Archery. I'll leave a link to his channel and a card. Get a card to come over here. Yeah, it'll be right here. So, the target lit up down here and I took all, turned all the other bulbs off in that room and it's on a dimmer. So right now it's lit 100% or the dimmer turned all the way on and we're gonna shoot an end for just four hours. Start dimming the light down till, I don't know. Should we go all the way? Turn them pitch black. Well, the, I did call it blind archery. Yeah, you did call it blind archery. Well, you know, I wasn't thinking that in the beginning. Well, you know what? You need to think ahead of time next time. You know what? I, thank you for the advice. I'll, I, I'll take that into consideration. So, yeah. Yeah, of course we're going to go all pitch black because it's called blind archery. Hold on, my cat wants to come out. Okay, and we're back. And we'll be shooting the Farmington Stallion, my 50 inch Korean traditional bow. Yeah, I've been favoring this lately. It's my first horse bow or Asiatic bow. And yeah, I'm loving it. Like this, this bow is super smooth. The construction is great. It pretty much is the similar, if not the exact construction of Daylight and Freddy bows. Um, their 50 inch models, they had the same uh, layer of like an outside laminate, a layer of carbon fiber, then wood, then carbon fiber, and then the outside laminate. It, it, it's like the same bow or the same supplier. So anyhow, besides that, like this Farmington is sweet. It's a great bow at the 50 inch. Uh, range for Korean traditional bows between uh, Freddy, Daylight, or Farmington. This is the lowest price on eBay. eBay has this listed at like $180, or sometimes you can find an open box deal at $160. I have no affiliation with Farmington. I am not sponsored by Farmington, but hopefully after this video, I will be. Farmington, come on, man. Check me out. Yo, I'm like your number one fan and like your number one supporter on YouTube. If you want to see the video about the 53 inch assassin, you can you, you gotta contact me, Farmington, because I'm not gonna release that until you know I feel like it. <laughs> no, for real, it's a great bow. Uh, Farmington Stallion and the Farmington Assassin, check them out. Okay, we're dimmed about halfway on the dial. And wow. Okay, this is a 
whole new level of archery. I gotta like now feel around for my my knot and point on my string. Wow. Oh wow. Okay. Damn, Sean. That's rough. <laughs> kind of like it's like training it makes you be more sensitive to your fingertips on the string so you get like a feel more of a feel for your bow <laughs> it's like turning the one sense off opening opens up the other senses pretty nice shot oh my tip just fell out so okay well i got down one arrow better tip on that one I know, because I felt it. <laughs> That's Just wants to go to the corner. What is dealing? Okay, that's the lowest I could get the dimmer to go before the light goes out. So, guess one more round of practice before it's showtime. <laughs> not looking at anything. I need to actually look at a target. Okay. It's like there's way too much to think about now. I'm just shooting bad. <laughs> I'm just shooting bad. Now. That's a yeah. That's a bad shot. <laughs> I don't even really think about trying to aim, but just get a good form and shot. I can almost should be able to close my eyes and move. It's showtime. Lights are going out. Okay, you can't see me. I can't see you. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. How's it feel? Ha ha. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just going to shoot. I have a mental image of where the target is now. Let's see if I can hit it. <laughs> Now it's not fair because it's lit up. I can see it. <laughs> but I hit it.
tall. I was closer than I thought. I thought I was like way on the side. That was my first arrow. And that was my second. Huh. I thought I hit like more over here. You, when the lights were dim, I thought the arrow was over here. There's my missing point. Interesting. Well, I'm doing that again because that, that was literally my first 12 arrows of the day. One, two, three, six. Eight. 14? My first 14 arrows of the day? I think I shot 14. I don't have to go back. Uh, don't hold me to that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I did notice as the lights got really dim. I couldn't see the string anymore. I really couldn't see my arrow anymore in front of my face. I really needed to start feeling around with, with my fingertips. And I almost like got a better feel for the contact of the knock against the string and just how everything feels in that area that I take for granted. We all take for granted, I'm sure. Um, but you take that, your vision away and you, you're forced to feel it and feeling it and also making a mental image of it um, and then addressing the string after the fact, it's almost like I had a better feel for the connection there, a better feel for the string and the arrow afterwards. Um, I'm almost thinking maybe like blind blank bail, like do this really close so less chances of arrows flying away off target or close your eyes or blindfolded or, I mean, you close your eyes, whatever you can just get close to the target and or actually no like yeah close your eyes and try the whole thing of just knocking an arrow on a string just that that well, it becomes a challenge i mean if it's not challenging to you now which it isn't to most of us it becomes very challenging all of a sudden and um overcoming that challenge and then I actually want to get good at that. I want to get good at being able to knock an arrow in the dark or like with my eyes closed. This is like a whole new level of archery. No, whatever, Lars. Like, but just, you know, take away your vision. Just, it forces you to get more in tune with your equipment, your bow and your arrows, the string, uh, the contact and connection of your hook your hand like kind of just knows where to go on that for me at least for me on that boat in particular it just so that wasn't an issue do that do that blindfolded and dark jumping on one leg you know hopping around in circles do the hokey pokey check all about but yeah check out sean henderson blind archery i'm gonna put it here i can put it there you put it there here here here, here, here.